the best video game reboots is none other than 2013's Tomb Raider, a PlayStation icon who our cross was brought down by multiple bad to average games over the years that failed to do much of anything. But developer Crystal Dynamics persisted, and after taking a five year break to start fresh, they brought the series back in a big way by looking at Lara's origins. The result was a Tomb Raider that was grittier and more survival focused than anything that came before. It humanized Lara, who was frequently seen as nothing more than a sex icon, and turned her into a survivor who gradually becomes more used to the killing and horror she confronts. As the most successful Tomb Raider game ever made, it brought the franchise back to the top of the video game industry, beginning a new trilogy of games in the process. At number four is XCOM Enemy Unknown, 2012's reboot of the classic 90s strategy franchise. It's a remake of the first XCOM game, tasking you with fighting back against an overwhelming alien invasion. But while it was originally meant to be a direct remake, four years of development turned it into a game that felt modern and forward-thinking compared to the clunky original. The intense turn-based action game feels great to play on a turn-by-turn -turn basis, while also demanding you make calculated orders to ensure humanity's survival. It's a difficult, often unfair game, but it introduced an entirely new generation to the awesome spectacle of XCOM. And if multiple Game of the Year awards are any indication, it succeeded beyond its wildest dreams. Next up on our list is Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. When you think of Prince of Persia, most people would likely think of this title, which came out in 2003. But the series originated as a platformer in 1989, where you play as a simple prince trying to rescue his love from an evil vizier. No time travel powers, no ridiculous acrobatics, just your typical guy rescuing a damsel in distress. Outside of the Persian setting, there's nothing connecting the original to the reboot. That's not a bad thing. The rewind mechanic, 3D puzzles and exploration, and well-written characters struck a chord with audiences and launched the franchise we've come to remember fondly. However, it's been a few years since we've seen a Prince of Persia game. Maybe it's about time we get another reboot. Our runner-up is Doom, a franchise that has not only been rebooted once, but twice. The series was originally rebooted in 2004 as Doom 3, a survival horror game that was not as action-packed as the original and its sequel. But we're not talking about that game, we're talking about 2016's epic Doom. Returning to the fast-paced gameplay of the original, Doom is a gorgeous and insane game that proved that players were interested in shooters that were less tactical and more over the top. An epic soundtrack, great level design, and hectic fights made Doom one of the best games in 2016 and reminded us what made the franchise so great in the first place. Before we get to our number one pick, our honorable mention goes to another first-person shooter, Wolfenstein The New Order. As a soft reboot of 2009's Wolfenstein, which was itself a reboot of Castle Wolfenstein, The New Order made killing Nazis feel good again thanks to a great balance between stealth and action. But for a series known for Mecha Hitler, The New Order also added a character-driven plot that became a textbook example of how to write a video game. The storytelling is sophisticated and well-written, with characters meditating on the existence of God and hope in the face of horrific atrocities in between traveling to the moon and fighting against giant robots. Trust us, The New Order is a must-play game and an amazing example of a reboot done right. While other reboots on this list were impressive, none were as game-changing as 2002's Metroid Prime. Nintendo has had a strange relationship with a Metroid series, often neglecting it for its other, more popular franchises. So when Nintendo skipped an entire console generation after Super Metroid and announced that the next game would be a first-person shooter, it was easy to be skeptical. But the developers at Retro Studios knocked the ball far out of the park with Metroid Prime, which featured some of the best action and platforming elements in first-person shooters to date. It also retained the classic Metroid exploration and power-ups, creating an experience that was perfect for newcomers and longtime fans alike. It would kick off a widely acclaimed trilogy and show that stepping outside of a genre could lead to greatness, which is why Metroid Prime is the best video game reboot of all time.